whenever someone asks me about Active Job, I used to tell that Active Job will provide you all kind of support. <laughs> Only thing you have to provide is effort. Active Job uh, give me all the thing, give me all the thing like starting from knowledge, starting from opportunities. It changed my. I have already told you that 2021 that year changed uh, forever my life. Uh, good afternoon everyone welcome to the active job talk show channel my name is manal kambuj today we have a very amazing guest with you named madhumanti who has completed her graduation in 2021 in instrumentation engineering she recently got placed as sde in verifone at 8.5 lpa so let's welcome her uh, welcome madhumanti bye Yeah. How are you? Uh, good afternoon. I'm very fine. How are you? I am doing good. How are you feeling after getting placed? Yeah, actually, I'm very excited. Uh, when I uh, came to know that I got placed, I was very excited and still excited and enjoying my new job. And also, my family, uh, they are very happy with it. Can you please give us a brief description about yourself? Yeah. So. After schooling, I I uh, my schooling was from Bengali medium. I'm from uh, Howrah, West Bengal, and uh, then I go for a B.Sc. in physics because I uh, was physics of yar tha physics me or jana tha or padna tha. So I go for physics B.Sc. and then after that uh, from University of Calcutta only. And after that in my college uh, in my university there is a chance that. Uh, A B.Sc. student of some background can join with you, like from physics background can join instrumentation, electrical, electronics, and some branches. So, but um, for C.S. C.S. student, like uh, to become uh, to be uh, to go for a B.Tech in I.T. or computer science, uh, someone need to do the B.Sc. in mathematics. So I could go for. Uh, CSC or IT. So I was uh, entered into the instrumentation engineering, and uh, in uh, in BSc also I was introduced with coding part. That time I was very scared about coding, but uh, dear dear, it was uh, very familiar, and I learned a lot more, and I feel interest in it. So then I started thinking about uh, forwarding my career in this IT or some type of things. Yeah. Okay. And in this process, how did you get to know about at your job? Actually, I was uh, I was in final year, and uh, from the end of my uh, third year, I was uh, looking for job that I I knew, knew that. My uh, I'm from a dietary college, and there is uh, not hundred uh, percent students uh, get placed. So I was thinking about off campus, and I was uh, also aware of that. And um, I used to apply for different uh, places. So uh, maybe from some connection, I got the, a mail from Acio Job, and. Then I go there, uh, do some research, search for it. That is what is actual job and all. Uh, search for the selection procedure and uh, applied for. Then after some days, I got mail for test like this. This like okay. this, I started the journey. Yeah. Okay. So once you joined actual job, how did you find the post structure? Yeah. Um, actually, selection process uh, was uh, there used to be an app aptitude test first. This is a screening process, and after that, uh, there there was some uh, one week or ten days training, and that thing uh, attracts me very much because I found that all of my doubts I used to have doubts when I study by my home, but. then i found that my doubts are getting cleared and mentors are very helping they are actually know that where a student can have doubt yeah mm-hmm. so so they these things attract uh, me the more 
and uh, after starting after entering into the main batch it was a 2 3 month 2 to uh, 2.5 months of dsa course uh, you you will be someone will be taught the whole dsa starting from basic from time from time complexity space complexity to uh, dynamic programming to some advanced level and after that uh, we will get some opportunities for SD role or SDD role. So, and after that, uh, there will be okay. Uh, after finishing DSA, there used to be revision sessions, and uh, there used to be some mock interview so that you your feedback so that you can uh, rectify yourself from the feedback and. Uh, uh, do your best performance in the interview that is a rehearsal kind of thing so uh, every after finishing every course like uh, after finishing dsa there is a mock, mock interview after then we get front end course for uh, two and half months then there will be mock interview on front end and after that uh, there are rest of the parties back home. so like this after finishing TSA, we'll, uh, go, you can go for a SD role. After finishing front end, you can go for both SD and both uh, and front end role. And mm -hmm. after uh, finishing back end, you can go for full stack, uh, full stack developer, back end, front end, SD role for any role. Yeah, that was a uh, whole structure. And after uh, the training is over, uh, uh, there used to be revision sessions simultaneously. You can join them. And uh, there are, uh, I, I got a huge support uh, starting from mock interviews, starting from uh, you can say uh, resume. Um, I didn't have any project in my resume before I joined the job. After completing ESA, uh, they helped us doing projects. The projects were, projects are really important to, uh, you know, uh, to choose you for, for a company. Right. So someone who is just taking interview, they will find that they will uh, try to know that you have done any projects or you have done any uh, hands-on projects. We uh, karate hai. Sare topics ke upar. Uske baad, uh, you can say mock interview. I have told about. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Madhumanti. So, how did you find the placement process of AccuJob? Yeah, uh, so I was, um, I, I didn't have knowledge about DSA on DSA uh, before I joined AccuJob. After joining AccuJob, I started learning DSA. So I didn't have uh, any idea, any, not any idea, like I didn't have knowledge on DSA so that ki I can go for a SD role. So after SD, after completing DSA, uh, AccuJob uh, for, for a particular batch, they arrange placements opportunities on the basis of that uh, skills, DSA skills, like for SD role or SD role. But uh, whoever, any any candidate, who uh, candidate ko, uh, DSA pehle se pata hai, agar, or usko experience hai, or uh, they are doing good in DSA, already they are ready for interview. They can be referred to interview before finishing the, uh, DSA. Okay, yeah, this is, this was the thing, and another thing is after after finishing front end, uh, you will be uh, you will be eligible for uh, for front end role like this, and after finishing back end, you will be eligible for back end role, and uh, we got a lot of opportunities, and you know, uh, like in in a particular week, like per per week, we used to get. Um, three four five around like this um, opportunities there is a discord channel uh, we used to discord channel and uh, we got the update this is the drive going to happen next week this is the drive going to happen next week like this and they prepare for that and also before the interview some 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 opportunities like some company gives the coding assessment some companies don't give the coding assessment just uh, directly uh, takes the interview and uh, they also provide some good question good questions I mean, in the sense 
uh, which can be asked or we have been asked uh, to the previously selected students so, but the interviewee can uh, get the knowledge and get an idea that what is what kind of difficulty level i am going to face this is this thing is very important yeah. that is actually helpful yeah so how was your experience with the mentors yeah, i think uh, mentors were very good i think um, as i was not uh, very much skilled before joining and your job mentors played a huge role i just didn't actually the placement from acu job i have learned a lot that means you can you can call me like you can uh, say that 2021 year is the best year of my life till now because throughout this year i have learned a lot i have like uh, this was a breakthrough in my career life yeah. so mentor played a uh, plays uh, played a good role because i have made uh, uh, like four or five mentors in acu job for some bsa front end and back end and they were very good they were very uh, much interacting and um, they they actually they know that where a student can have doubt and uh, actually a student student ko jo chahiye wo usi jaise usi tarah se explain karte hain and they explain in a very simple words that is the most most um, uh, most you know beneficial thing when someone is a beginner आप उसके साथ कुछ डिफिकल्ट टर्म्स यूज कर देते हो तो वो उसको समझ नहीं आता डर जाता है या फॉर डीएसए आई फाउंड इट वेरी हेल्पफुल बिकॉज़ डीएसए हैज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग एंड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग बिगिनिंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप टू द एडवांस स्टिल डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग इट वाज अ वेरी गुड अ स्मूथ स्लो आई डिडंट फेल वेरी मच एक्टिव दिस जर्नी because of this mentors only yeah i'm so glad uh, that's such a good yeah. experience in the yeah, world i mean yeah uh, i i am like we have talk after uh, after like i have uh, completed the dc session and we have talked after the after that also like linkedin like this so there is a bonding you need to do and the mentors are ready to make that bonding with the student if i ask you madhumanti from starting your studies when you were in 12th and then you do, you completing your bsc to now you getting placed at very phone at 8.5 lp like a good package what were the difficulties madhumanti face in thus these many years okay um, so after bsc people generally wanted to go for msc all of my friends uh they were trying to go for ms but um mm-hmm. i thought let's uh, think about career what i can do and mm-hmm. so i choose bitek and in bitek also i am from instrumentation branch and most of my peers uh, were interested in core field like uh, thermal plant and like this like uh, instrumentation branch is uh, related to is Uh, part of electronic engineering you can see hmm. so hmm. they are more interested in core field they are less interested in uh, software engineering so hmm. i didn't find anyone any fellow in, when i was in college but but uh, i knew that i am growing interest in this field and hmm. i'm learning these things plus ek aur cheez tha ki there was a lot of thing open in the internet on youtube on google uh, but i was confused that what to choose and what to learn and what can bring me the good career what is the good career option for that mm. uh, so uh, knowing that that what is the road map i didn't have any guide for me and uh, seniors we told that uh, if you uh, cover the gate syllabus if you don't placed in the campus campus placement you will hmm. uh, try for the uh, psu and all so i didn't get uh, much uh, motivation or any guidance so i was puzzled in the free internet huh. things so hmm. acuja provided me a good road map 
it and that was very much important for me when i um, just just joined uh, that uh, just joined the training to join the main batch i came to know that this is a structured uh, plan and structured way to learn and uh, they are our guide guide and mentors they will help me and so this is a very much relief from that tension that what should i do yeah so one thing is road map help me in that so mm-hmm. uh, from saving me from this all uh, open air uh, puzzling of this resources a lot of resources वो कंफ्यूजन जो था ना कि पजल्स क्या करूं आई थिंक क्लैरिटी मिल जाती है या व्हाट टू पिक व्हेन दिस इज द मेन थिंग आई कैन डू व्हाट टू डू हाउ टू पिक व्हिच व्हिच टॉपिक्स टू स्टडी व्हिच नॉट टू स्टडी या या हाउ इज योर न्यू कंपनी ट्रीटिंग यू हाउ आर द कलीग्स या इट्स इट्स वेरी एज आई एम अ फ्रेशर आई डोंट हैव एनी एक्सपीरियंस सो आई एम new for the work but uh, colleagues they are very much helpful and manager also uh, uh, he is very much friendly and every alternate wednesday we uh, have some meeting and uh, he also joined in the meeting and he enjoyed uh, with us very much yeah so from that point of uh, view i am very i feel very lucky yeah so if you see as you see people uh, are always ready for are always coming for in this field as the it field so what one advice would madhumanti like to give the upcoming student in this field okay uh, i would i would say that uh, what i have realized that this is not a field where you can stop learning you have to keep learning always like today i have learned that i have worked on this next day i have to work on this i have learned i have to learn a new thing, completely new thing. Hmm. this is the main thing i can uh, see that so also the interviewer expect that you are you should be ready to learn uh, a new thing you you must be know i mean you must not know the whole thing Uh, the interviewer don't expect a uh, skilled people they expect a uh, ready to be skilled people like this this ready to learn yeah yeah uh, there are opportunities and they must uh, keep putting effort and talking about agio job whenever i uh, whenever someone ask me about agio job i used to tell that agio job will provide you all kind of support only thing you have to provide is effort and yeah this is the that has to come from your end yeah yeah uh, before we end this interview i just have one last question for you if you could define your experience with acu job in one word or one sentence how would you define it like it was a break in my career like because of acu job i got this opportunity and my life just suddenly changed it was being from an tertiary uh, college i was very much scared about what will i do if i don't get job uh, how can i get job how will i prepare myself uh, to to be uh, like to survive in the competition hmm. so acu job uh, give me all the thing give me all the thing like starting from knowledge starting from opportunities it changed my i have already told you that 2021 that year changed uh, forever my life yeah so thank you madhumati uh, yeah thank you so much i hope you the best for your future yeah thank you so much So thank you everyone for watching our interview with Madhumati please like subscribe and comment below in the section and let us know what part of Madhumati's journey inspired you the most and yes keep learning thank you so much